Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to randomize a set of buttons. Um, I get emails asking me all the time uh, how to have buttons that uh, every time that it's reset or they go to the scene that the buttons are in different order. Um, so I'm going to do a little video here to explain a little bit how to do that and we're going to use tables for this system. Um, so as you can see I have six button, uh, six button here buttons here and um, I only use one actor for these six buttons you can use six actors it's up to you um, I'm just gonna use one uh, the logic will be the same um, I'm gonna go into go to home and go to tables and you'll see I've made a table and I have uh, 20 uh, columns and six rows each row represents one of the six buttons and in each column, I have the six buttons in a random order. So five, six, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, three, two, one, four, one, two, six, five, four, one, three, and all in different order. You can do this as many times as you want. I use twenty; it's a pretty good number. Um, you can do seven or ten, whatever you feel like doing. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to tell the buttons to um, arrange themselves in one of these random orders. Um, so again, you just need uh, how many buttons you have for how many rows you have. So we have six buttons, so we're going to do six rows. And then in every column you have the, the set uh, from one to six in a random order. Um, pretty simple. So we're going to go home, and I'll go back to scenes, and I'm going to go into our scene here. And the first thing we need to do is give each one of these buttons an individual number. So I'm going to open this up here, and I'm going to create a self attribute by hitting the plus sign. And we're going to use an index attribute because it's just going to be a number. And I'm going to call this 1. Now I'm going to go in here and then this one's already 1. So I'm going to go into this one. I'm going to change that to 2. And then I'm going to change this one to 3. And this one to 4. This one to 5 and this one to six and I forgot to name the attribute so I'm gonna go put that back up here I'm gonna go back into the actor and I'm gonna just change that here to what number am I so now they have their own individual numbers and those numbers will represent what row they're gonna take from the table so um, if it's one, if it's button number one, it's going to take from this row. If it's button number two, it's going to take from this row, and three, four, five, six. So um, basically, these are the numbers uh, for that number. Okay. Go back home. Go back into here. Now we're going to have to figure out how to tell them um, what order they're in. Um, so first, we're going to go into the game attributes, and I'm going to create a new attribute and we're going to create it a, um, a boolean and because that's going to be a true or false so we're going to say mix order okay um, and that's just for later I'm going to set that to true right now um, we're going to go back into this actor and I'm going to create a new attribute and it's going to be an index because it's going to be a number and we're going to say what order am I Okay, and um, we're going to hit back, and I'm going to go into um, game attributes again, I'm going to create one more attribute, and it's going to be an index, and we're going to call this what order, um, and right now we'll have it set to zero, and I'm going to make an actor here, um, I usually do this for everything, I'm going to call it round rules. And I usually go in and I make it green so I know what it is. And we're going to create a rule that says when attribute game and uh, I, that mixed order attribute that we used is true, we're going to uh, change attribute game what order to and we're going to do random and I know we have 20 different columns of orders so I'm going to go to 1 comma 20 so it'll pick one of the random orders and I'm going to go back into game attributes 
and I'm going to create another one and we're going to call this boolean and we're going to say um, take order number and we'll set that to false and then what we're going to do is in the round rules we're going to say after it's picked the random order we're going to change attribute game take order number to true and that's basically going to tell the little tiles there to um, figure out what spot they're in. Now we're going to go into this actor and we're going to make it a rule that says when attribute game take order number is true we want to change attribute and we're going to change self what order am I which is this attribute down here that we made and we're going to change that to, and we'll use the second drop down menu, we're going to go table cell value. And for table, we'll just delete table part, and we'll say our little table here, which was table 1. I didn't name it, but that's okay. Uh, for row, we're going to delete that, and we're going to use this here, what number am I? So we'll go self what number am I, so it's going to take from its proper row. And now for column, we're going to use that game attribute that we just made, which is um, what order. So it's going to take from the column that is, is chosen. That way all the buttons take from the same column. So it's going to change that number. And I'm just going to do a display text here, just so you can see what's happening. Display text, self, what order am I? and we'll change that to green just gonna save this just in case something happens now I'm gonna hit preview and you'll see um, they're all still zero so I have to go in here uh, let's see here round rules that's true take order number to true mix order is true all right, let's see here. Why isn't that working? Oh, take order number. Hmm. I realize I didn't put the round rules onto the scene, so let's do that now. Drag the round rules down to the scene there and press preview. And now you can see it's 435261. And if I hit refresh, 436215, hit refresh again, 563241. So they are picking um, their random numbers. But as you can see, the letters aren't moving. Um, so that's our next step. I'm going to hit back and go in here and I'm going to take off this display text that we were showing you. And basically, what we need to do is we need to create another table. So I'm going to go home and we're going to go into tables. And I'm going to create a new table, and I call this uh, TB for table and locations. And I'm going to use two rows, and row one will be X, and row two will be Y. And we have six buttons, so we need six columns. And these will all be integers. Oh, sorry, uh, they'll be real. Um, the reason why we're using reals because it could have more than one, de uh, like a decimal point, like zero, 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 or zero, one, five. Um, so we'll make all these real. Okay, and I'm gonna hit back, and we just need to get some information from the buttons first. And so let's first find out the Y position. So we're going about 180. So we'll set them all to 180. Uh, and the first one's 63, so I'm going to go into here, and for the Y, I'm going to do 180 across the board, because that's where I want them to be, all 180. And I believe it was 64 for the first one. Hit back. Go to the second one, and it, the X position for that is 133. So I'm going to go back into my table, oop, wrong table, and this one's 133, uh, 133 minus 64, 120, 
so it's about about 75 ish so 75 175 so the next one should be about ooh, 212 ish I don't know let's go in and see get back it's like close to 12 uh, uh, 207 okay so that one's 207 the next one's 277 so 207 277 and let's just get the last two so 352 and 423 352 423 I'm just gonna save this one more time so now we have where each button starts off um, in our, our set here um, we can go into the game and into the tile and we can say change attribute self position X to and we'll use um, table cell value and for the table we're going to use our new table there for our locations for row because we're doing X we're going to do row 1 and for column uh, we will do self um, what number am I I believe hopefully that works and then for Y we're going to change attribute self position Y to table cell value again put our new table there and because it's Y it's row 2 and for column it will be uh, self what number am I again I think it's gonna be this I'll hit save again and let's hit preview okay that's not working let me see here okay rather than um, what number am I I believe it's gonna have to be self what order am I and then in this one take out that self what order am I there we go that should work hit preview and there now you can see they're mixed up A F C D B E hit refresh D F B E C A and I can just hit refresh all day long and they're gonna mix up constantly um, to the 20 different sets that we've you know changed um, and you can have as many as you want 20 will look random no one will know that it's a set 20 uh, that's for sure and your location manager you can have like three on the top three at the bottom it's just wherever you put the X and Y's in that little table there but that's pretty much all you need to know to have uh, random sorting of buttons um, and you could even take it one step further and hit back uh, I'll just hit save real quick here and we can make a, a button here we'll use our round rule button for now put that here and so basically we already have mix order to true so that way it triggers instantly when it comes on um, but let's do a new rule now um, let's do a timer at the end of this and we'll say after uh, 0.3 so it's really quick um, we're gonna change attribute and we're gonna change this one up here mix order so game mix order to false and then we're going to change this one here. We'll just drag it down and make a copy. Change this one to false. User the um, so basically, it it stops everything from working. And now what we'll do is we'll put a, a rule here, uh, and we'll say when touch is pressed, we'll change this mix order here to true, and hit preview. So now you can see every time I press the button it'll instantly mix up the order and that's all you need to know about having random locations for uh, a button set and I'll see you guys in the next video head on over to gshelper.com and download the uh, sample file if you need and um, I hope you guys enjoyed